Welcome to Dumb Butt. Today we're and I am uh Juicy Toronto. T- today we're doing a push up. Look at him go. Look at him go. Go, 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 go. Look at him go. Oh. Are we need an ambulance? <clears throat> Someone get an ambulance. Someone get an ambulance. Oh my god, okay. Uh in the meantime, just roll the intro music. R- roll the intro music now. I hope he doesn't have brain damage. Oh, he's convulsing. That's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's brain damage. I know brain damage. I know brain damage well. Jesus. Can you guys roll the intro music now? I don't think this is a joke anymore. Roll, roll it. Just roll it. I tried Viagra for the first time. Probably for people who can't cut. No, fuck that. That's your sock wardrobe. I'm going to jail. Freaking pretentious. Not you. Listen up. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome to the Justin Ian Podcast. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Once again, guess what happened? Justin made a technical boo-boo. This time, I forgot to record the video for the first half an hour, and then we lost my internet for, the, for in between half an hour. So instead, I will replace these beautiful uh, captured representations of me and Ian with my ideas of uh, stupid poopy drawings. Uh, so they're not going to be great, but they'll be funny. I'll try to make them as funny as I can. Uh, and then our, my internet poops, so Ian's by himself for a little bit. Uh, for the people on audio, nothing changed. You are still uh, listening and making up the images in your own head. The people who are watching the video, you'll see some cool pictures that I drew. And then we'll come back to regular scheduled zooming and booming. All right, see you then. Right. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Ooh, Episode yes. four, three of less wow. Justin Ian podcast old, guys don't old, worry I'm a, I'm a semi-professional stunt athlete so I'm okay semi-professional yes only semi-professional because I, I I don't get paid but <laughs> someone gives me money then what makes it the semi what part of that is semi you know that's the part that you don't talk about Ian oh um, sorry public <laughs> processes sorry the, sem- you know, the semi only semi professionals know that you can't talk about what makes you a semi professional the thing that clearly makes- you're not a semi professional yeah we're not even fifteen minutes in <laughs> I know you said the you said the M word already, already gonna be- you can just bleep and then it the out like, the algorithm's like the algo the algo's like did you <laughs> the M word when you said it fast I thought you said the N word I'm like what no oh, I didn't shit. say that. <laughs> I'm like, bro, don't no, what are you no, no. We're, we're not that early. No, we're never. No, no one's that fucking flagrant. No one should be that fucking no. flagrant. No, we're we're again semi-professional podcasters. We got one sponsorship one time. So, man, I wonder how do people do that? What get sponsorships? Yeah, do we? Do know. they I hit they people get, up? They gotta get listeners. Maybe, but I feel there are even smaller well, people that get like you know some. Yeah. But we are like really think, small, so <laughs> yeah, we are we're we're a micro penis yeah, podcast. Micro penis for podcast. Um, I think how sponsors happen is uh they have like algorithms mm-hmm. that search through the world and they go, We need content, we need more brands, <laughs> we need we content need absorb, we need to absorb absorb young and are these mouths or hands? <laughs> are these are these it's whatever you want them to I'm be? I'm gonna say is. they're also heads. Like it's, yeah, it's, just, cr- it's one creature, but with heads. It's like, we need more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in the middle, it's like, stop it. I just want to go back to my family. Please, please. No, no. We need content now. <laughs> Come on. We need content. Come on, Mark Zuckerberg. Listen to the voices. I just want to go back to college. You bitch. Guys, I just want to surf. Surf these internet waves that yeah. we tell you to. People think I'm a lizard. You are a lizard. <laughs> Mark, don't lie to yourself. You love, you love the cold. You love the warm, hot sunbed in your room. Uh, uh, you love it when I do it, don't you, slut? <laughs> Stinky brownie. This <laughs> <laughs> immediately shrinks up. Well, what are, what are we getting to the episode, guys? And that's going to be the first clip of the episode. It's always funny because every it's whenever we do it super early or super late, these we are, have the most cracked stuff yeah, right off rip, and then know. by the end we are like, "All right, guys, that was a normal wow, yeah, what a, fun what a time. normal we a episode." Product, we just had a productive conversation towards that end. That last yeah. ten minutes was really productive. That Those was, first half an hour, 
we don't know what happened. We blacked it's out. It's always so fucking wucky ducky when we do these. There's no middle ground for us. It's no, you know, there's never, a, there's never. No, it's weird. I think if we go later, like when we did the podcast with Tyler, that was uh, for the Spider-Man episode. That was also one of our most mellower episodes. Also, we were really tired. We were really tired. I mean, that's an eventful day. That was a very eventful day. That was an eventful day. day. What an eventful day. We haven't had an eventful day like that because of a lot of things. I mean, fuck, from what you just told me, I mean, at least um, at least theaters are opening back up. So Yeah, so, you know, guys, the, the movie that's reviews good. are coming back. Yeah, more, more, more videos of me standing at the front of the theater, being like, "We're watching a movie." That we, <laughs> we gotta, we're gonna mix it up every time we do one of those. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll add more juice to the the content flow for those ones. I can't wait till we get kicked out of a theater. That's when it's gonna I get know. crazy. That's when we're gonna. That's when you know we're big. Yeah, when we Made get it. kicked out of a theater. <laughs> kicked out of a theater. Kicked out of prank gone wrong. Got kicked out of a theater. <laughs> Banned for life from Cineplex movie theater I think, in Ontario. I think I'd fucking cry. Like what? What else is there? No, I know. I would. I would cry. I'm like, I have to go to Imagine Cinema and Tiff for the rest Bro, of my life. Can you imagine AMC theaters? Like, please. Wait, there's no AMC in Toronto oh, yeah, anymore. They closed the one in Vaughn. Oh no. Very upset. <laughs> Scotiabank. I. <laughs> That's a Cineplex theater, Ian. Oh, fuck, you're right. It is Cineplex. We literally can yeah, only go right. to TIFF. Wow. And then the Cineplex, and then that theater drive besides no, Ryzen. We all have to go to Strictly Drive. Yeah, guys we have that to go to drive, drive. The two people who can drive. <laughs> don't worry, I'm supposed to get my license sometime in February. Nice. Don't know when, but sometime in February. We'll see. Ian, you gotta, I know. you gotta progress as a podcast. So we many people driving. are like, oh, you have to get a car. Go oh, get a car. I'm like, oh. You don't have to. I mean, I, I tells mean, tells you to to support the auto industry that Ontario yeah. heavily supports. I mean, maybe not like get a car, but more like just get your license. And I'm like, fine, I guess I'll get my license. I think it will be okay. A lot of people, especially Filipino moms, do who do fine without a driver's license. It's so funny because uh, my mom and dad are like, "Why don't you get a? Why aren't you? Why don't you want a license?" And I, the reason is always like, I don't want to kill someone. Like that's the main reason. Like <laughs> I just don't. That's tr- fair. I don't trust myself behind the wheel because I feel like. I'm just clumsy. I feel like, oh, whoops. My years of GTA have taught me not to consider the, <laughs> the, the pedestrians the on the street. The intrusive thoughts are just like, come on. They're just AI that I have, that Run the world has designed for me to hit. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, whatever whatever person's controlling me as a sim is, is always putting like, come on, go into ongoing traffic. Come on. Just walk. <laughs> yeah, just walk. But um, anyway, so it's funny. I brought that up to my mom. My mom's like, oh, that's funny you say that because I was the exact same way. So I'm like, oh, this shit's hereditary. <laughs> <laughs> Being, hereditary yeah. driving yo that's the only part i watched until in hereditary the spoiler um when when her, the part when, when her, then the kid gets fucking yeah her, her head gets fucking decapitated yeah that movie is yeah with crazy. the car that's the only part i watched that we, we turned it off as a collective and we thought that's not enough or it's it's 11 o'clock we don't need to see this before we go yeah um yeah that that, that movie gave me some heebie-jeebies i remember well, did you end up watching it all the way to the end, though, right? No, I haven't touched it. Man, there's a scene, like, I think I think the most terrifying is the last 10 minutes of the movie. So much of fucking scary imagery in it. It creeps me Sounds out. Sounds like the, like, all A24 movies where everything just happens in the last 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. And then a lot of it's confusing, and then a lot of it is just mumbo-jumbo that you need to look up later. <laughs> yeah, I think the most clear-cut A24 ending was... The Farewell's no, pretty good. Farewell's pretty good. They, they that's like yeah well. I mean it, but they still have enough metaphor in it where it's like yeah ooh. Uh, I think Uncut Gems is pretty straightforward like he's yeah fucking, he's yeah he's we did a podcast on Uncut Gems fucking he, he's dead. fucking dead yeah that one's good one movie I watched by 18 for recently that I really did not get was um I think I think it's called like it's with Robert Downey not Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Robert Pattinson it's like something called oh good time no no not good time life or some shit oh high life high, high life. life yes that movie was weird, man. Movie. That movie was fucking weird. I didn't get it. I didn't even bother. No one, no one watched it. So there's no like essays on it. So I, I, I saw people watch. Well, did you, there's probably reviews. There's on reviews. It. I, there's I think reviews. that's one of the more buried. Damn, you one. know when it's really highbrow when there's no video essays on yeah. it except like just written essays. On yeah, it. yeah. That's how highbrow it is. I think it's really highbrow too when not even the big movie reviewers review it. Not highbrow, but yeah. just like super underground. I'm like Jeremy Johns didn't, Stuckman didn't do it. Like, oh, like the, the YouTube reviewing OG. Yeah, the OGs, or even if any of the the big like um. 
Oh, like the essays. IGNs, the game spots. Yeah, even those. But I was also thinking like uh like fucking high top review like high top reviews. Oh high hat high oh no high top high, yeah, top, high top fucking Kristen Runtkst, whatever his name is. Carson Runquist. Carson, Carson Runquist, yeah. Let's just name all our favorite video essays. Oh fuck. Yeah. Uh lessons from a screenplay. Twenty four frames a neck or something, whatever it's called. Um, um Patrick Willems, that guy does really long. His are very produced. Um there's so many. I, I Captain yeah. Midnight. I feel like Captain Captain Midnight. Midnight. Ah, there's so many. Ah. Can you tell yeah, me and so Justin just love listening to the smart people just talk? <laughs> yeah, and then we we try to pass off their ideas as our own. Oh yeah, sometimes. big time, big time. <laughs> yeah, you know, like Spider Man in No Way Home and the collision of all the other mm. spoiler Spider Mans. It just is a broader signal mm. of the future of Marvel and Fox mm. and their idea of slowly trickling in. Superheroes from other universes, yeah. from other properties mm. into their main property, but yeah. then doing it only for short stays. Or like, you know, it's a yeah. grand metaphor which we'll see come to fruition mm. in multiverse madness. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because I got called out for that once. Um, like I, I, so I passed off an I, I passed, I passed, I passed, a, I passed on an idea that I, I heard in a thing, and I, and I passed it off as my own, and then someone, oh, they didn't cite your sources. Someone's like, I watched that person, and I'm like. <laughs> yes you did so did i and i was just like i, I looked at them and i I, I was like okay well i got it from well, you make me look like an idiot yeah i just looked at them like oh fuck so now every time i was it me was it me by no accident? no 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 it was like someone else that's why i was i was surprised they even watched the person i watched and i was like wow you know about that what do you know about that <laughs> and then well, anyway I know, why don't you have this deep yeah meaningful idea that you stole from somebody yeah, else how can, you bring it? How, oh because you're oh because you have original thoughts and okay got it got it cool ah uh, you you're a person you're a person who has, who's yeah, uh securing their thoughts. yeah you're a person who uh, has confidence in their own ideas mm, got it <laughs> got it nice nice <laughs> wow you believe in something you originally said oh <laughs> yeah oh you need the validation of internet strangers mm, got it you don't need oh the you, sorry you don't strangers? you don't Ah, oh, got you, got you. You don't have a podcast with your friend who also has yeah. <laughs> validation issues yeah. and needs to <laughs> be consumed by the algorithm. Uh, mm, you don't, you 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 don't have a you don't have a inferiority complex. Mm, got it, mm. got it, got it. Cool. Or, impo- cool, you know? or imposter syndrome. Mm, okay. Wow, cool. very cool. Okay, speaking of our Instagram algorithm, mm. well, Ian, one of our recent reels yeah. has gone off again and no again. Way. It is one of the most stupidest jokes is I've it ever the made golf on the dick podcast. One? It's the golf bit. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if it's the hashtags that I put that just got the golf it, like community attracted to it. I haven't looked at the likes, but if all the likes are are guys of name, let's see the likes. Let's see if there's a there's a certain pattern with the names of the people who like this content. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. Oh no, see. it's a, it's a mixed bag. It's a it's quite a mixed bag. I think there are a few people on greens. Wow, there's I've seen a few people on greens. There's yeah. a lot, man. I, I just checked yeah. the podcast. We got like a a good a good bit on that let's one. Let's see how many views um, we got. Three thousand ninety nine. Holy cow. I know, and it's only been a few hours, like relatively a few hours. So, yeah, you posted it I last only night. I posted it last night, yeah. Let's see. Again, it's I don't know why the algorithm likes to crank out dick jokes, only dick jokes. Yeah, man. Our last like dick this joke is a dick joke. Good. The the big dick joke where I'm like, girls don't have, girls all have penises. That was mm. like our biggest thing. Again, it's the stupidest jokes. The jokes that I like, well thought, constructed in the moment, go nowhere. <laughs> yeah. It's very, I mean, listen, I think that's just a reflection of I'll, our society. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Algorithm, please. I'll make more pee-pee jokes. And I'll if you do keep anything. cranking them out, uh, oh, I'm here for it. Thanks. I'll suck a penis on camera at that point while making penis jokes. <laughs> I, and we also go up in a few followers. Like we hit 151. Yeah, we did hit 151. Thanks everyone Thanks. again. I remember the first th- time we were checking the Instagram with Tyler. We, there's an episode. I don't. I don't remember which one, but we were mm-hmm. like, "All right, guys, if we can get to, uh, I was like 25 or like 40 followers, something like something like that." When we first made the Instagram, uh, I was like, "One, if we hit this number, I'll do this." And then Tyler's like, well, you guys are two people away. I'm like, well, we're going to change the number. And then you guys What, like, no, what no, was it? Were you going to like dye your hair? Or you were going to fucking like. I was going to shave my head shave or head. something like that. Well, I mean, I did shave my head I know, eventually. I know. And I, th- I, know, I think I said I was going to dye my hair. I'm also thinking about shaving my head. 
Okay, Ian, we can't have Yo, both. We can't let's both do it. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, I'll, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll dye my hair, though. I'll, I'll dye my hair when your, I... Your hair your hair's already No, dyed. I'm going to shave it and then dye it. Ian, we have to have a balance of hair on <laughs> Lot. the podcast. Damn it. Fine, fine. I guess I'll just re-dye my hair. It's then. the same thing with me and my brother. Me and my brother can't have the same haircut. It has to be a balance. I, I guess I'll just re-dye my hair then. I'll just go Joker green. Start my Joker arc. No, Ian, you can shave your head. I'm just not going to do it. If, if, if that's the case. <laughs> yeah. We have a balance. We, we, sh- we need to flip a... Let's let's do a live coin coin flip right now to oh determine who shaves their head. Please, no. I just paid for a haircut. Give me a, few, give me a month <laughs> or two to get the value out of my haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah. You did just pay for a haircut. Yeah, I just got a haircut. Uh, <laughs> the, I don't know because grad photos... I saw our... Our uh, friend of the show, Fabian, he yeah. got a hair. He got his grad photos done, and yeah. I'm like, "Oh, what haircut do I want for my grad photo?" That's oh, true. I I honestly don't even know if I should sign up for grad photos. I just don't get it. I don't get the appeal of grad I, photos. I mean, I would just like to just to have because there's a wall in my yeah. Tita's house of all the graduates. Mm. Okay, see, so, you no, know, so that's I would like fair. To be a part of that wall. That's it's fair. It's a family thing for me. Yeah, see, so you no, know, like my. Like, I don't want to do that. The one where he's like holding his hat. Like I don't want to do a funny one. Oh. What would I do? Hold a mic? That looks so no, corny. That looks corny. Yeah. I, I, I would... If they let me know. do grad duos, like I would do one with you. Oh, that'd be funny. Where we, where we reenact our, our uh, prom picture. high school prom picture. Yeah. Oh my God. What a great idea that'd that was. Pretty, that'd be pretty good. That was so funny. You know, but we flip the sides, so I'm in... I'm holding you and yeah. you're holding me. Yeah, see, I would, I would love to do that too. I think, it, I think, it, I think the thing with me is my, my parents... I mean, like my family, we don't have grad photos. Like my parents, my brothers didn't uh, do it. So I'm just like, why do I need to do it? I don't care. I, I just don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, I have a, I have a diploma. This should be remembering my time in uni. Not a stupid picture of me going like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? I love, yeah. I, I honestly, I kind of, I, do you, when you did elementary school photos, yeah. how do you, like, what was your experience of it? I always thought it was like a funny kind of thing. I was like looking back at my pictures. I always think it's kind of funny. I mean, I was just thinking of a bit. I was about to say, I'm like, uh, anyone, I, I think the most powerful people in the world are the people in those um, photo shoots. They can tell you literally to oh, do yeah. anything and you'll do it. Tilt your head down. Open your mouth. Okay. Now put two fingers in your mouth. Ian, can you, can you correct this? So it's not the children that no, no, doing no. This, this grand this photo is, this is, is, this is university. Is a, this is a university, not a, not a legal high school kids. 18. <laughs> Grade eight. Great. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, I mean like any photographer in general, not just like, you know, for it, consenting for, adults, for consenting adults, obviously. But, you know, but you know, it's just like, it's like, uh, even like wedding photos would be funny. Oh yeah. Can yeah, you guys yeah, get together? Funny. Okay. Um, can the groom step aside? All right. Now the bride, take off your dress. <laughs> just like what <laughs> whoa but like no yeah, that'd be a, yeah oh i can see that as a meat canyon video oh yeah like there's no like second that. guessing though like a, a fucking no, photographer can tell me to do anything and I, I do it for the most part it, they just hypnotize you yeah you just become enthralled by the thing <laughs> i think the the prospect of a good photo gets you it's like you're gonna look great in this boss like trust me come on put your fingers in your mouth trust me Oh, that's oh, golden, baby. That's like blackmailing you. Like, our, oh, hey, dude, you yeah. want you to look good? Listen to me. <laughs> just, um, just emotional. I have the control. I can make you look fucking ugly. Just, emo- just fucking, just coercion. <laughs> Do you want to look ugly? Do you? Come on, your parents are going to remember this photo forever. It's your wedding day. Don't you want to look good? Your kids are going to look at this picture in 40 years and look and ask... Mommy, why the fuck do you look so ugly? Don't you want to be one of those hot parents that their kids show their friends in Polaroid photos and they're like, look how sexy my mom is? Come on, take off your dress. Let's do this. <laughs> even to, oh the, even to the dad. Come on, let's, re- let's do a Chippendales photo shoot. Leave your tie. Yeah. Yeah. Chippendales. Just the tie. <laughs> just the yeah, tie. Chippendales, call back. Just the tie, not even just the tip. <laughs> I want you to put your tie on your dick. <laughs> he wants a little tie, doesn't he? I Look want at you. little handsome boy. I want you to do Chippendales, but with your penis. Let's call it Tippendales. <laughs> <laughs> tip in mail. Yeah. A tip in mail. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, Speaking of tipping meals, oh. I watched Euphoria, and yeah, I'm almost caught yeah, up to the yeah, first yeah, season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, dude, all right, guys, uh, I'm behind this time. Yeah, so, so no, not really any it, spoilers. I guess if you haven't if you watched haven't Euphoria watched season it. one, uh, I'm gonna go into it because there's a lot. I, 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 you, I, for the first few episodes, I'm like, Yo, Ian, what the fuck is this? But then I'm like, Okay, let me save it up, and yeah. then I'm just gonna, <sighs> yeah, shoot his love all at once. So you okay. finish you so, finish you for your season. No, one. I have two episodes left. Okay, nice, nice. So I'm on. I just finished the party episode. I think. You got to remind me. I, it was so long ago since so I the, watched. So we'll go back and forth. I think. So okay. the party episode is where, um, Jules is dressed up as Juliet and from Romeo and Juliet. Oh yes, uh, yes. Lexi is Bob Ross. Yeah. Uh, and then in the episode, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Uh, Cassie cheats on. Um, uh, um, McKay, McKay with with fucking Ted, Ted Bundy. Bundy. That guy is scary, bro. That bro, scene is not brutal. subtle at all. Yeah, that scene is fucking not brutal. Not subtle man. at all. Um, that scene was fucking brutal. No wonder Cassie has issues, man. I know, Every man bro. in her life literally uses her like a fucking object. It's terrible. Um, what else happened that then, episode? Oh, Lexi and what's her name? Rue did the bad cop, good cop to uh. That kid, Roy or Troy, one of the twins. I thought that was a little, that was nice and light. Where he's like, oh, I'm going to call Brother Jamal. And then she would just list a bunch of names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I yeah, like, I think cute. she just listed like drug dealers from TV shows. Because she lists, she she said Omar. And I think Omar is from The Wire. Maybe. I would believe that. That sounds like a very funny. Yeah. You know what's funny about that scene? The um Zara, friend, she's been on the podcast once. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. she was. she was there. Um, she was in the, the late afternoon, late afternoon show. show. Um, anyway, so she, she she got me into Euphoria, and she sent me a screenshot from the good cop bad cop thing in the washroom. Like you, you know that scene where oh. is that that's you're talking about. Wait, hold on. You oh, froze. Looks like he you froze. Gonna... Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, well, your audio is coming. What a in, funny. Oh, he's back. I'm back. Oh. I think. Oh no, froze again. Uh, oh, okay. What happened to? Hey yo, this is the podcast. Yeah, God, damn it. Hold on. Let me check. We may have to restart. Oh, no. You can't hear what I'm saying right now. Or he can. And okay, I well, I'm just going to keep um, talking. I can't hear. Um, He's frozen. <laughs> I should um, probably just message Justin. So this actually. is my internal monologue when stuff happens. Right, what is chat, actually? So far, we were, going ha- we we're going to have a good podcast. Um, but now my internet crapped out. I'm going to message him real um, quick. So. Yo. I don't know what to do. Yo. Um, we good? This is no bueno. No bueno, indeed. I wonder if Justin's talking right now at the same time as I'm talking. You know? Oh, he left. Now it's just the Ian podcast. Well, this is what we got to do. This is it. He's got a text from Justin. My Wi-Fi died. Okay, so I'm doing this. I'm doing the podcast solo. I'm going to sync this up, Justin. Okay? This is, this is the point where I'm recording on my phone. Gonna. Wow. Wasn't that crazy, guys? Audio died. Uh, Justin's Wi-Fi died. So this is going to be a solo bit with just Ian. Um, anyways, as I was saying, uh, I'm going to have to probably retell this for Justin. I should, let's, just, let's just enjoy this alone time. It's me and you. How you doing? Your hair looks fantastic, by the way. Like, really good. Like, what'd you do with it? What's all, what's all that? What's that? What's that going on? Oh, stress hair? That's white hair. That's not... That's not platinum blonde. You just stress. No, that's cool. That's chill. That's chill. Um, did you, did you guys like, did, did you like, um, no, you look good. You look good. You look good. <sighs> Shit. Um, you, you watched the new, you watched the new attack on Titan episode. That was crazy. Huh? When Aaron was just like, do it, Papa. Do it for me. That was a good bit. That was pretty good. Um, not sure if you can you guys hear you're not sure you can hear that in the audio or not, but my parents are doing like uh they're listening to mass. Cause unlike unlike their son, they're God fearing people. I don't fear God uh as so much as I fear um women. They're too powerful. Women are they scare me. Can you can you imagine the ability to bring life into this world, but also at the same time being able to take it out of this world? That's crazy. Men can't do that. Men have come, sure, but we can't bring a child in. That's different. You know, like it's different. 
women carry that inside them, then pop it out. And this is just as hard as it, it's just, it's, I need Justin back in here because I'm going to go unhinged. <laughs> I don't know how much this is usable, guys. I'm going to do a little fetch check for you. Um, I'm going to set you down. And then I'll just bring this up. I'm doing a little fit check. I'm wearing Randy's Randy Carpenter pants. Pretty good. Um, a unique low. I would say this is a quarter zip, but this is literally like a half zip. Kirkland. Kirkland brand. Um, Kirkland socks, some suey cokes on, and that's my drip. That's my drip for today. Um, oh God, where's Justin when we need him? I'm just, okay. Well, Justin's working out his Wi Fi issues. I'm sure he'll be back. I really do enjoy this time, guys. Um, I miss you, miss you a lot. Remember those, remember that time when, um, we remember? Ah, that was a good time. When we did the thing and we, we, uh, we, we, and we ended up in, uh, in Prince's house. Oh, remember we went to Prince's house and then he gave us like a bunch of quaaludes. Good times. Good, good times. <laughs> Do you ever wonder why I ramble all the time? Hmm? I, I ramble and say nonsense because I'm scared. I'm scared of what the, of, of what the intrusive thoughts are. If I don't want to burn down my house, but boy, would I be able to make some good marshmallows. You know what I mean? Good old, that's a good weenie roast and fire. Huh? What, you're telling me I'm wrong? Nah, I, I'm, I know. It. It'd be good. All right, well, we're going to try to get Justin back in here. So, I love you guys. All right, Justin. Um, yeah. I, I filled some time, Justin. All right, well, I'm going to keep the audio running. Because you didn't see it, but I can't believe we forgot to record, man. That's so heartbreaking. We had some really good bits. Really good bits. Man, that Zuckerberg bit, we lost it. We lost that Zuckerberg bit. That's insane. Well, I don't know what to do now. I'm just waiting for Justin. Look at all my, look at my acne. Not acne. It's just look at all these facial things coming back. I've been touching my face too much. I've been touching my face way too much. I hate it. I even have, you know, I'm usually not a guy to, uh, I was never really a guy to do like face, face care. But, you know, I'm getting up and I'm getting into my 20s, like deep 20s. I'm three years away from 25. Ugh, I hate, I hate it saying that. Um, but yeah, I'm three years away from 25. I figure I start taking care of myself. There's like so many things I feel like I, I should be doing, but I'm not doing. And it makes me feel so, I'm not sure if anyone can relate to this, but I'm feeling so like, just not, just not up to, up to standard, man. Like, like face care for one thing. Like I am a 22 year old man. I should be taking care of myself. Like this skin, if I don't take care of this shit, I'm going to look like a goddamn foreskin by the time I'm 40. 40, 40 year old foreskin. That's what I'm going to fucking look like. It's going to look bad. And I don't want to look like that. I want to take care of myself. You know, there's that, you know, some people are like, oh, meditation, reading. Like, are you kidding me? People who can read. Shout out, Eric, homie. He reads so many books and I'm like, bro, how do you have the attention span for that? Like I, and it's so weird, man. There's I'm like a point in my life where I'm like, I don't want to play video games. Like video games is such a waste of time. But then I also love video games to play. Cause I'm like, Oh, I should be doing something more productive, but ugh, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting confused of like this idea of what I should be in my life and what I want to do with my life. You know, it's just so wonky to me, man. It doesn't make any sense. I, I think I need to get past that, to be honest. Um, sorry for the long pause, Justin. You can probably edit that. But I'm talking to myself. And I was just texting you saying, like, I'm potting. We can keep this in if you want. Um, but, yeah. You know what's funny? I always bring this up. But Justin does a lot for this podcast. If anyone ever tries to compliment me on, my po on the podcast again, I'll just be like, I don't know how you do this. Like, how do you have the time? No, 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 no. I have the time because Justin... Just as a homie, he puts in the work. 
So that's why. <laughs> um, everyone, everyone needs to give Justin some more praise. And that's what we need to do. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to get together and make a day. It, it can't be his birthday. That's too much of a cop out. It needs to be a designated day, like his favorite day. I definitely think, you know, not to be a self-diagnosing weirdo, but I definitely think I have dyslexia. Like, I think I have undiagnosed dyslexia. It's bad. It was, it's really bad. I'm pretty sure I told the story on the podcast already, but you know, anyways, um, you know, I say that because I always fuck up reading, writing. It's bad. I, 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 I mix the words up when I think I got them right. And they're, I, I messed, I messed them up ineffably. I don't think I use that word right. I don't think I use that right. The word right enough. It's not ineffable. You, you wouldn't use the word ineffable. Ineffable means like, like you can't explain it. Well, I guess like, that makes sense, right? Like I fucked something up ineffably bad, like unexplainably bad, I guess. Bad. Okay. It works. I know my shit, but see, see, I know words. I know big words. Okay. I can, I can pontificate. Ooh. Ooh. What's that pontificate? I can say big words and use them kind of correctly, but ask me to spell it. Ask me to say it coherently in a, in a sentence. Mm-mm, no way, big boy. No way. I'm going to fuck this shit up. So, yeah, I kind of I low-key want to get tested to see. Um, that and ADHD. But I'm scared for the results. <laughs> I don't want to actually know if I am. Because uh, I've been, listen, I've been functioning pretty well for 22 years. You know what I mean? Am I functioning great? Eh. But it's doable. You know, I'm like high functioning. <laughs> it, it, it's working out for me. But yeah, I think I just want to know just so I know. But also I don't want to know, you know? <laughs> Nothing is scarier than confirmation. And that's why people don't, don't tell people they like them. You know? That's why, that's why people die uh, never telling the person. In, like in movies, I mean, not in real life. How dramatic would that be, eh? I mean, in movies where it's like, oh, I never told them I love them and then they die. It's like, it's like the, it's, isn't that like a trope in media? Like the, or at least in anime, you know, when a side character says their hopes and dreams or aspirations, they're most likely going to fucking kick the bucket. Like for the most part, think about it. If you, if you haven't noticed it, I want you guys to start noticing it in every movie or show or video game. This happens a lot in video games too. Um, if there's a side character that seems to be like the likable friend or like, you know, the, the father figure or something. Uh, if they can like, if, if they start talking about like, Oh, I, I love, I, I want to go to the countryside and fuck a horse. They're probably going to die. That's, uh, Rolly, Rolly. Welcome to the mid roll. Hello. We're just going to do a regular mid roll. No special effects or Nothing. anything. Um, uh, we would like to gently ask you to click subscribe. If you're watching the video, uh, click follow if you're listening to the audio. Rate us five stars if you're on Spotify. And even if you're not on Spotify and you're watching the video, <laughs> make an account. You, we know you're on Spotify. In, do Go our, to our page and press the five star button and put 4.5 yeah. because we and, are not perfect, mm-hmm. but we're pretty good. We try. And if for some reason you don't have Apple Music or Spotify, go on the YouTube, subscribe, and then, give us yeah, a like, subscribe. share give it with a friend a like. who you think might find us funny. We we'll appreciate it. it helps go a lot. on Instagram and Put your favorite clip on your story and say, this is mm-hmm. so good. They are so funny. They they're make so my funny and cute. And, and I want them And they're to both kiss single. Me. And they're, they're both ready to single. Mingle. And they're both below average, but we know what we're doing down there. They are funny guys. They funny guys. Funny make thighs. Make up for their comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard on my funny thighs. You know, you know how mm-hmm. people have like muscles and they make them veins. My legs have veins too. And that's because... Yeah. And it makes a smiley face. My when thighs when you, really hard. My thighs when you put them together, they make a clown face. And, and when you put my thighs apart, there's a penis. <laughs> I can't find mine. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the podcast. <laughs> Probably what's gonna happen. What a so, thing to come back to. Yeah, we got deep while you were gone. We're back, everybody. The Justin and Ian podcast. Not Hello, just- we're back. I'm sorry, I'm a goofball. I forgot to press record. Oh, I forget. <sighs> Yeah, I know. It was crazy, guys. I, I was explaining to them that we lost a bit. All right. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I, I'm back now. I apologize yeah. for my um, insolence. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's okay, buddy. It happens to the best of us. All right, guys. Uh, where were we without <laughs> visuals? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was crazy. That Mark Zuckerberg bit was just... That's just painting with our minds at that point. Yeah, I got to redraw everything now. You got to redraw. You got to animate it on, on twos. Uh, <laughs> more like animate on, on like... On one. 60s. I'm going to animate on, <laughs> on 60s. 60. True, true. Okay, guys. Sorry. Um, Welcome oh, back. Hello, everyone. What are we talking everyone. about? Hi to see you. If you listen to the podcast, nothing Howdy has changed. Howdy do. Howdy do. Uh, you just missed some nothing. You really didn't miss anything. You missed some cool pictures. Um, yeah. Where were we in? You, euphoria. Um, recap. Euphoria. Um, okay. Uh, Trying to get the hamster wheel going. Yeah. Okay. E- okay. Episode six. I just was talking about Lexi and uh, Rue doing oh, the I was telling my I was telling my story about story Zara. About yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So the first time, you know, this is even before, like I was getting close to Zara. Like this is. For it. and she got me on euphoria and she's like she sent me a scene of them in the bathroom is that that's when they did the good the good cop bad cop scene right when they're in the bathroom it's like together. in a laundry room i think in a laundry room whatever and then um anyways yeah so she sent me that and she's like this is me and you and i'm like <laughs> and i'm like what's that mean and who's she's like, who? You'll see. yeah who's who uh and i, I yeah it was just really funny that that that, that episode funny. gives me good memories but uh yeah so continue with your your euphoria. Oh, hello guys! Welcome to Justin Recaps Euphoria. Okay, there so then then Ted Bundy uh, does goes stuff off on with Cassie, Cassie or Alabama, whatever. I don't remember yeah. the character's name. Alabama something I've, from True Romance. Mm, um, sure. And then Nate, yo Nate, I oh my god, I you it. fucked Nate. <laughs> no, I fucking hate it, bro. What's yeah. it called? I I know what happens in season two, so I'm very glad that happens. I just wish that it done more. Then, yeah, Nate's a dickhead, eh? Bro, that's so fucked. Spoilers again. Just say it, bro. This what do you guy, do? This guy, fought, this guy fucked up this guy's life twice. This guy had to go to the hospital, fucked up his neck, fucked up his Yo, eye, and then he's going to jail. And then he's going to jail, man. And then it clocked in my head that he used Tyler in mm-hmm. when he was talking to Jules. So when, if he if he doesn't do it, then he's just going to be like, Yo, why, do you, why are you talking to a 12-year-old? Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, yo. What yeah, the fuck? he's actually a sociopath. It's That's insane, crazy. bro. It's insane. I'd, okay, yeah, man. This guy was literally like stalking this kid for nothing. Yeah, it's fucked up. Just because Maddie wanted to make him jealous. Oh my gosh, I know. And then Maddie's gonna what, fucking outed him too. I know. Poor, what's it called? Imagine what happens to Sunny, bro. If if Nate finds out that Alex and Demi was with Sunny. <laughs> Fucking fucking sunburn. 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 Can you imagine Nate fucking up a 12 year old? Just being the fuck out of it. A 12 year old. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I always, you know, I remember that scene in, um, from, from mid nineties. I remember finding out that she was like 20 something in that scene. I'm like, bro, she and made up was a 12 year old. Bro. Crazy. Man, yeah, cause that's she's, so fucked. Yeah. That was weird. But. I mean, Hill, like kind congratulations, of a, first film. I mean, amazing first film, buddy. Can't wait. He just launched Strong Baby Productions. Yeah, with Netflix. Which is a which is a deep cut of fucking mid nineties. Yeah, I think the funny thing or is their first film. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, we're recording. Yeah, we're their recording. First, we're recording. Their first film is gonna be a comedy with Eddie Murphy, and oh, uh, one of the pod, yeah, flagrant two podcast hosts, Andrew Schultz, is, is has a cameo. Has like a tiny role in that film, so I'm very excited to see what he does. Did they announce already what movies are going to be coming out of that production studio? No, they they just announced the movies, the Netflix movies for 2000. Oh, spring. okay. I see. Oh, you meant Netflix? Okay, that's yeah. Because you're talking about movie. strong people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, continuing on with my Euphoria, whatever. Uh, Your rampage. Yeah, bro. That scene. I think we're jumping a little bit all over the place, but that's a little where, bit. It's fine. Where Rue's like. Yes, fuck you. Give me drugs. I'm like, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, That's man. Crazy. That's crazy. And yo, you, yo, Angus Cloud in that scene, man. He, I know. He, he's just like, you know, he, bro, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, like, he is yeah. sorry. I know. He, yeah, bro, in his I limited vocabulary, he's fucking sorry. Yeah, he's sorry. He's sorry. I can't. I love how there's a little this, Jesus bro. toy just in the corner of the door. The whole. Oh thing. yeah. The whole scene. I've seen that. I've definitely seen that Jesus doll. Like, I think I one time I went to uh, Niagara Falls and they had like a candy store with a bunch of toy, like weird mm-hmm. novelty sure. toys. And they had that Jesus toy there. Jesus. Man. Yeah, that scene was crazy. Fucking when she was like, when she was like, I'm fucked up because of you. This is your fault. I'm like, bro. Classic True. fucking like. 
It is drug dealer yeah. shit, though. Yeah, man. That Fez wanted to be a good homie, though, man. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the mm-hmm. the carnival scene was that carnival episode was was a roller coaster oh. of emotions. Oh, when, when Cal my was like God. hunting down, I'm like, what's gonna, what is he gonna do to Cal? What is he gonna and do? And then to he, he just and he just like, please, please, I'm like, what yeah. the fuck is happening yeah. to Cal? I, yeah, I thought it was gonna be something crazy, but no, the one who went off that night episode was, was fucking Nate. Yeah, again. again. Who fucking choked out Maddie? Jesus and Christ, he, man! He, uh, he he sexually assaulted Jules. So, Jesus Christ, man! This guy, oh man, this guy sucks, man. Yeah, I, I know. I like how they like the fuck thing too is they they gave him a little bit of redemption at the beginning because he was being nice to her. I'm like, oh, he's gonna be finally nice, and then he just no. was like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they kind of try to do that again with him at the end. Um. Which gives him a lot more character depth, but like it's hard to man. It's fucked. I mean, good for for uh, Jacob Alordi, bro. That guy's killing yeah. it in the role. But it, it's not even just like it's not even just that. It's like even in season two. I mean, no spoilers for you, but like, man, that episode that no, that episode, not the episode, that video that Noel dropped. Yeah, man, it's starting to track a little bit. It's just like what is happening in the show now? Like fifty percent of it now is montage, and I'm like, bro, can we just get back to the plot, please? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But you'll see. It is a very interesting, like, narrative device to kind of frame each episode around one person. But it was mm-hmm. kind of inconsistent because the, uh, the party episode, the one I just watched, the Halloween one, they start with McKay. And McKay's kind of a through line in the episode, but they don't ground it as much as, like, the earlier episodes with, like, Cat. Like, Cat's episode is Cat's episode. I feel like McKay, um, literally, McKay, he's barely in the show. Like, he's in the show, but, like, he he comes and goes. Like literally, he's not like he doesn't feel he does like I always forget. Go. Oh no. Oh no. Buddy. <laughs> oh no. Did you get to the episode with the frat? Yeah, he gets fucked and then he he fucks. And then the he thing. does the same thing to fucking Cassie, Cassie. basically. Oh, I know Cassie's Cassie. Oh man. That's crazy. When I saw yeah. that, like Cassie goes. At first through, I'm like, dude. what's happening? And then after I got it, I'm like, yeah, oh. some serious fucking projecting. Terrible, terrible, oh, terrible. I know, and then I, I, it's just they always, it's always fucked because always he always brings it back to the what happened in the first episode with the video and um, yeah, the pictures. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this girl. You yeah, you may be hearing some. I'm not sure if the audience can pick it up, but my fucking parents are are. I talked about this in my solo bit, but they're fucking listening to mass right now. And oh, uh, you know it's funny. My parents do that too. I'm sure they're gonna yeah. do it in like an hour or so. Like mom is wait, what are we doing, Ian? We're just in our room. We're talking. We're talking about not religious stuff. No, nope, <laughs> the, the furthest thing from it. We're talking about stuff that would make Satan clutch his rosary. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Fucking Megan Fox and MGK. <clears throat> okay, you know. Well, uh, I'll continue on with my Euphoria uh, thing when I finish the series. Uh, yeah. So I'll see I'm you excited next for you episode. To finish that. And by the next episode, I'll, I'll probably be on the season as the second season as well. Very excited mm-hmm. uh, for to see my girl Maud uh, do more. Maud Apatow instead of just being in the background the whole time. You go, oh. yeah, she really is a. Yeah. She, I know yeah. in the episode coming up, she has that whole detective bit with Rue, which I saw like a way back. I think I saw it like a year or two back, and I'm like, oh, this is a really cool scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm finally glad to see it in context. So that yeah, it was be fun it today. It was a fun time. But yeah, I, you know, I honestly didn't even know that she was an Apatow, to be honest. I, I think it just always slips my mind. And then in this season, <clears throat> I Googled the cast. I'm like, she's an Apatow? I'm like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, she was fuck? in This Is 40. I don't know what that movie is. It's, uh, it's a movie with Paul Rudd, Leslie Mann, and them too. And it's like their oldie? family. Is it an oldie movie? It's like 20, mid-2010s. Oh, shit. So she was a kid. <laughs> yeah, she's literally like 10 or 11. Oh, shit. That's insane. And then her sister's in it too, but her sister's like uh, hilarious. Like I watched a video on um, like the behind the scenes and like cut improv moments yeah. and her sister, like the little sister just kills it. And then now her Damn, little sister's like nice. part of the Olivia Rodrigo posse. No she's way. Just, yeah. So she's all like <laughs> punked out and shit. And then cool when you kid. come back to like her, like when she was like eight or something and she just like looks like a regular little girl, it's like such a weird transition. Man, isn't it crazy when, when you see like, Kids just slowly finding their personalities. Their personalities, yeah. It's like it's fucking weird, man. It's kind of weird for that who girl, like from the Grinch, to be known oh, as the yeah. who girl. But like, she's like a punk rocker. She's a punker. Yeah, it's insane. It's crazy. What a transition. Maybe, maybe I mean, there's shoot. something about being a little 
person on TV and then growing up. Yeah, being a child actor. Yeah, it, it's it's literally insane. I mean, I see that with my cousins too. I'm like, oh, so this is the person you're becoming? That's crazy. <laughs> you're like, and I'm not saying that's negative or bad or positive. I'm just it's a thing. It's just looking at it's younger thing kids growing that happens up. Happens to people. The thing that happens to people, and I was simply observing. Yeah, what I'm saying. It's getting sunny outside. It is. It is. My brother walked into my room like, "Why the fuck is your room so bright?" I'm like, "Ah!" You didn't yeah. buy it. You, yo, you just got blown the bro. Fuck just out. blown out. I just got <laughs> it's just a nuke. Just whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Uh, okay. So that's Euphoria bit with Justin and Ian. I'm sure Ian yes, has some Lord, great yeah. bits before that I got yeah. interrupted. Got in, I got very introspective. Oh, let me charge my computer before it dies. I got very introspective in my solo bit. It was, it was just me. It was a stream of consciousness. Wow. Guys, that was like Begone Thought. If you don't remember Begone Thought, that was Ian's oh. former Instagram. That's when, me, that's, that's when Ian and I were doing our solo podcast our solo, endeavors. It, even though it made no sense. It did. It you no did have sense. good bits. Honestly, you did have really good bits. Like, I really enjoyed how you started out with doing jokes, and then you went really yeah. introspective. Yeah. I mean, shoot. I, I missed that. I mean, who knows? Justin and Ian Studios. We can I know, do whatever we the fuck we want after that. Yeah. I know. I'm very excited for our cooking show, Ian. For our, Yeah, that's going to be fucking fun. <laughs> I know. It's going to be a riot. It's going to be a cooking riot. Uh, docket. Uh, Talk docket. What's on? So, Chuck's. Uh, this is Ooh. a little chat. Oh, this is a good intermediary for the next thing. So in this okay. show, Rue is like Chuck's for life. She wears the Chucked same out. pair of Chuck's forever. And then mm. I watched Jackass recently, and the main guy Johnny Knoxville, he wears mm. Chuck's in everything too. I'm like, wow. I'm so glad to see the Chuck's finally have their light of day. I mean, it, it I does mean, irk they've me. Been. I know, but it does irk me. Like my as a long stand of Chuck's. Like I think remember. My first like fashion shoe, yeah. And the first time I went to like a non Foot Locker boutique kind of thing, like a sneaker boutique, I got yeah. Chucks. So Chucks have a very uh, sentimental place. Place in, my in your heart. heart. So what was I the see, sneaker boutique? Uh, Groovy, Groovy on Queen mm, Street. Okay, shout yeah. out. Uh, so it does irk me to see the CDGs as like that's a Converse shoe, right? I'm just like. I mean, fuck the fact that yeah, I mean, the fucking the fucking heart shoe. God damn. Yeah. I remember when that was, you know, such a big thing. Yeah. But to transition into that. So Johnny Knoxville, I watched the first Jackass in preparation for the final Jackass. Jackass forever. Jackass forever. Not, yeah. Um, and yo, that shit is fuck. Ian hasn't watched it. I don't think. Or I, I haven't watched, it, watched no. it. But yo, I that, watched like one of them. I forget which one I watched. Bro. I've, there was never a point in a movie where I had to just skip through a whole scene. Okay. And, until Jackass. <laughs> I just skipped the scene. I saw the, I saw the title. So the, the way how Jackass works, if you've never watched Jackass yeah. before, they introduce a bit, like one of their, their main bits. They, they go, mm. this is, and then yeah. whatever the bit is. The bit was, this is, paper cuts. And I'm like, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope. What I mean, was I it? Was it through, on the deck? No, like paper cuts like here. On the webs? On the webs of the fingers and toes. And I'm like, nope, we're not doing that today. I I will watch someone snort wasabi up their nose, but I will not watch I someone feel like that's, put paper that's, cuts in know, their fingers. That feels a little too much. It like, does. I don't but know. But I mean, I will. So, yeah, I skipped that. Um, yeah. I did watch the part where they got a rubber, co- a toy car, put it in a condom, stick it, someone, someone, stick it up someone's ass, take an x-ray, look at the car, and then pull it out afterward. That I watched through the whole bit. That um, sounds insane. It's kind of funny. It is funny. I bet. There are I moments bet. where are funny, but there are moments where I'm like, yo, what the fuck am I watching this fucking right torture now? porn, bro. It's fucking insane. This is the, the perverse family, but PG. No. <laughs> no, not the perverse family, man. Um, but it's funny to see that it's all white guys. And not a surprise. It just, no. it just, it just in line with it my makes previous sense. My it previous makes thoughts. sense, man. It makes sense. I mean, the new one has Tyler, the creator, so... They're, they are yeah, diversifying. It has a few. I think it has a Casper from Wolfgang in there. That's that's Tyler's homie. Yeah, I think it's Casper. Or um, no, I think it's Ty- oh, I think it's Casper. Speaking of, we funnily enough we did a bit that Jackass did unknowingly. Oh, electroshock. Really? They did an electroshock bit, <laughs> but they went a lot harder than we did because they put it I on bet. their balls. <laughs> oh, and surprisingly, they didn't react as vigorously and violently as as we did. And when we I just think put they it just, on our hands and body. They just went like they yeah, just no, jumped. They didn't like I mean, go like be, spaz out or anything. 
to which be I was honest, surprised they they subjected themselves to something crazier. So I feel like that was just like a walk in the yeah. The park there to was them. there was a bit where they put a firework in someone's ass. Did I hear that correctly? A so, firework. This is a butt, right? Okay. And this Perfect is the firework with the little stem. So this is like that's the, the lit end. You know how you, you stick the firework in the ground? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's this in is their stick, ass. And I think they kind of saddled it. Either in I don't know butt. if they put it in his butt or they put it around his butt, but they put it here and then they lit it like right here, and then it went boop. <laughs> that shit must have hurt. Yeah, it was cracked. Um, Just fucking fire up the butt. Fire. They, ring of fire. There were some funny poop bits. Like they they went to a hardware store. And they uh-huh. shot in one of the toilets. <laughs> just straight up, just fucking poop. I always wanted to do that as a kid. I'm like, what would well, happen? Well, someone Where did, and it's fucking gross. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Um, I'm trying to think of some other bits. They did a lot of, they did a few things in Japan. The stuff in Japan were more mild, but it was still such kind a, of funny. Man, Jackass was such a cultural thing, man. Like, it like was. think about it. Like, that, that really, like, that was the age of, like, fail blog, right? Yeah, you remember, you remember, fail blog, you know, fail early blog? YouTube. Early YouTube, well, just like a lot YouTube, of stupid that shit. That was 2002. Jackass came in 2002. Oh my god, yeah, pre YouTube. So this is like so this, is, this is home videos. Yeah, this America's is home videos. R rated, dude. Yeah. Oh, there also there's so much male booty in that. I've never seen so much male ass. Oh in, yeah, yeah. In a non sexual way. I forget which Jackass I watched, but I watched one where they branded his ass with like a cock or some shit. And then sounds, he had to show his about right. Sounds then about he had to right. show his mom, and his mom was like, "What did you do to your your beautiful tukis?" And he's oh, like, yeah, there was one look good." Where they brought a crocodile into someone's house, just trying what? to get their trying to get their mom to say fuck. The whole bit is, "I'm gonna get my mom to say fuck for this movie," so they yeah, bring oh a crocodile, god. and she doesn't say fuck for a while. And I'm very surprised. really like she's she like, "Oh, oh my gosh, is that real? Is that real?" What, I don't, yeah, what, what, what she made her say, fuck, say, but I don't remember when. Oh, I was gonna say, like, what made her crack? <laughs> that would have been it. I don't know, but it was weird. Uh, I am very excited. I would, I'm probably gonna watch the other, two, the other, the jackasses in between, but you're, I can't wait for you to start absorbing this as your personality because, as everyone knows, me and Justin are very influenced by the media we watch. I know, so I can't Dude. wait for Justin just to start pulling up shirtless with tattoos on him, <laughs> like Johnny Knoxville. Well, the funny thing is, I didn't realize me and Johnny Knoxville have such a similar style. You look exactly, not exactly, but you look very have, similar to Johnny We had the same Knoxville. glasses at one point. Yeah. We both wear Chucks, like, religiously. We wear Dickies. Well, I don't wear Dickies as much as I do now. I used to, but I wear Dickies a lot. Cardi's all the time. Graphic you even kind of look like time. him, in, like, facially. Like, you kind of yeah, like look Gaunt. like him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking, It's wild. So, something came up on my feed, which kind of oh. was sparked my interest in doing physical comedy. There's a thing called the, 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 the Pillow Fight Championship. I'm going to send sounds, it to you. Can we watch gonna it? react to it. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Because as we know. Oh, yeah, I yeah, can yeah. You can't sh- record it. Look at record. Yeah, okay. I All don't right. know how to do Zoom. Um, so, yeah, there's the Pillow Fight Championship. Um, okay. It, it is what it sounds like. You can send it's it on IG. It's just a pillow fight. <laughs> very intense, though. Very intense. Um, here, I'll put okay. it in the chat. Uh, you can show it to everybody. Uh, let me enable oh, nice. share screen for you, sir. Oh, it's on Instagram. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I think you can. Sh- you should be able to share. Oh my god! All right, guys. This oh is, my god! This is qualified <laughs> championship. Ian, share screen so yeah. I can get that in there. Uh, am I recording? Oh, it's, 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 it says host disabled. Share okay. screen. Screen sharing. God. This looks great though. Okay, PFC. Go. It's like literally like UFC. Yeah, it's intense. Okay, go. Okay. All right, guys. This um, is. Uh, I found it through a nice kicks. A video. So on Instagram, someone clipped it out where they took off their shoes, and that's it. I was just such a nothing like bit, but yeah. Oh man, I was so excited okay. when I saw this. I'm like, oh my god, this is like Noel Street. Like this is like Street what, Beefs. Street Beefs. And I I sent I sent this I sent one of the videos to Noel. I don't know if he's gonna watch it, but I no. hope he, he. I hope if there's a video on on pillow fight. On pillow fights, Justin did it. It was me. Okay, let's let's just just watch this first one. Let's turn on sound. Oh, cop copyright. Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's brutal, clean. bro. It's so sick. Bro, that was It looks so fun fuck. too, just getting knocked. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro, Look at that technique. Just uh, go to the next one. Do pillow fighting. Oh, I feel like I should get really stills. sexy though. Oh my god. I know there's blood. Are, bro. are these like weighted pillows? I don't know. Bro, like that guy what, looks what, like what, a rest. 
Okay, go back to the Joker guy. Is that spit? Is that his mouth guard that came out? No, I think that's. I don't even know what that is. Oh, face. It might be. A, okay. Oh, I think that's a mic from the background, bro. Oh, that Joker, Joker guy. He looks like a, a character from WWE, like 2K. Fucking grave digger. You know, I, I don't know. No, I don't like know a, any. You of know how fucking... you can make custom characters in WWE. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what he yeah. looks like. <laughs> oh my okay, god. Okay, go check another. What? What? This dude think... is a flip. Yeah. Go to the actual like videos. Yeah. Okay. Let's watch this one. Bro, it's crazy. They, oh. People just get headshot. This is like crazy. This is crazy. Yo, look at him. He's got the. He, he's I know, ready. He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I know, bro. It's so sick. Did, I wonder if this can actually knock someone out, though. Oh, like, there's knockouts. There's a there's a reel for knockouts. So just, this. Just check. Wow. Click All right, through. let's go. Do you know which one is the knockout? I think that one, one, that one, that one. I, I like how I point at my screen as if I could show you. I think that one's the. The knock that one's a knockout. So are these pillows like weighted? I don't know. I, I oh, gotta, they're going oh, hard. Yeah, there's a compilation oh. of knockouts somewhere. Uh, you can wow. check on reels. Go in the reels section. Yeah, uh, and then see this if they have descriptions. Oh, they don't. No, they don't. But this but one. Yeah, looks people intense. get knocked out. Oh no, that's oh, the that's overhead? the one that went viral. That's the one that went viral. That one got reposted. That's, wow, yo, this this guy sh- this got hit so hard his shoe came off. <laughs> Yo, he's thinking of his fucking ill, bro. No, because the other shoe it. came off when he got hit. Oh, man. That's why God. he's taking off the second one. And it's not that really exciting. Oh, look at that. Bro, they even, they even kind of use some of those UFC moves. Like that spinning move. I know, like move? the swings and the spinning. Yeah, Jesus. This is coming from a guy who doesn't Oh, my God, look. There's one thing. for children. Wait. Oh. All right, let's see. I mean, this. Yo, he's got his guard up. I know. What? This, this dude look has at his fucking guard up. This, this I mean, ho- those look, those look kind of heavy. Like, yeah. I feel like. I you know, those are like weighted sandbags. That's fucked. Bro, the Bro, fuck they have... Too? Oh my god. With pillows, is like when... If it's the way that... Depending on what's inside, if it if you hit, it gets harder. Oh my... <laughs> that's like fucking kinetic sand. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. It's like Bro. a oblong thing. That's fucking... All right. Is All this right. guy just taking it on the fucking chin? Oh, they're just... Oh. I think they're warming I mean, up. There, there looks like that's some... There's some resistance, man. I know it, it's not I want to hear what it, it sounds like Yeah go oh. Bro more fucking copyright music I know Can I just, just need the ASMR sounds? of this just Yeah legit Yeah it's crazy um, I'm very excited Okay knockouts Ooh, Ooh that was clean oh, Bro oh. what anime fight is this Oh, oh no No that, that beginning was crazy oh. <laughs> That was hard That With was a swipe crazy. Oh my gosh Yeah I found our new favorite contact sport yeah. Oh, we gotta look into this. Yeah. We gotta look into this. I wonder but, if there's uh, any pillow fight championships Toronto. Let's see. Yeah, just check the link tree. Oh no. Okay. Man, but yeah, I'm so glad I found this. I I'm sure this this is part of the broader world of random fight sports. Like the Noel yeah. video where he was talking about like night fighting and uh obviously street beefs. Um Register to be a fighter. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Oh my god, the Joker is like one of the, oh, I thought he was like one of their like rotations. <laughs> is there an about section? I want to know. Um yeah, on the third one. Okay. Let's read about let's read about pillow fights. The fighters don't like to get hurt and there's a lot of people who don't want to see blood. They want to see the good competition, they just don't want to see the violence. I mean, people are getting knocked out. They're, I mean, I yeah. Think, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Pillow Fight Championship began with the idea to develop real fighting sport that would appeal to the international family audience by combining the ancient weapon known as a pillow (laughs) with experienced MMA competitors and boxers and strict rules. I think that's supposed to be and. Oh, I I mean, I got to become a competitive MMA MMA fighter to to join this. Uh, Ian, I got to start training. Yeah, that's such a ladder. Imagine no, look, training. Ian, look on the second left, PFC Kids with a Z. <laughs> Let's see. Bro, the funniest too, they think it too is I've been playing Fortnite like crack, like a lot recently. Jesus. Okay, like I here, finished the battle up. pass and everything. Holy, yeah. it's, it's wow. like 2018 again, all over again. Pillow Fight League Toronto. Okay, let's see. We got to look this up. Um, Official Uh-oh. Pillow Fight. I don't know. Oh, wh- oh wait. What? P- the Philippine, the PFL was a Toronto based semi professional sports league. Was? Oh, here, check the Instagram. Oh, was. Oh, we were ahead of the game, Ian. Wow. Did we do it first? PFL. They ceased operation in 2011. 
it's sad. staging a comeback. This was in 2017. Uh, well, it looks like they, they came back. Or maybe they PFL. just they went to America instead. Maybe. Oh, that's no, no. There's, here's the roster. That's professional Fighters League, not pro- Pillow Fighters oh, League. Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. Pillow. <laughs> pillow Fighters. I think that's the only one. Man, Jesus. Oh, look. All my... My what's it called are up there. My my uh mailing list. Inside Hook is where we got the article about Drugs Lab. Oh, interesting. Ready for competitive pillow fighting? This is made in twenty. Oh, this was this year. Yeah, this was yesterday. Why the fuck was it? Oh, because you got it from the sledder. Is this where you got it from? No, no, no. I got it on Instagram, but I'm. I wouldn't be oh, surprised so if this article is in my sledder today. Interesting. So that rollout has been really, really good. They got this yeah. article coming out, and then that video went viral on Nice Kicks. Let's see. Oh, I just hear that. It's so funny because it's pillow, so you can't really hear it. It just, like, thuds. But I think the fact that you can hear it from where he is is kind of insane. Yeah, it's cracked. That's how hard he's hitting. Yeah. Oh, Man, I wish there was better camera work. There is in the, like, the for whatever, the, whatever reason, the Instagram has really good, like, yeah, shooting. Our video. It's better than Street Beast video, insane. bro. Sometimes Street Beast videos is so like. <laughs> I fucking love Street Beast, man. Love Street Beast. Oh, they're on TikTok too. Watch now. P- PFC pound down. <laughs> okay. That's all enough. Right, that's, of that. enough. that's enough. That. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Let's see what else I have on the Tiki Doki Doki. Okay. Ticket uh, Docket. So. I have been watching uh, Twitch more recently, and I'm not watching like YouTubers who who happen to have a Twitch channel. I've been watching a few. Ooh, like, who are you streamers. watching? Emmy Rue and Miss Kiff. I was watching them recently. Miss Kiff. Yeah. I know those people. I don't watch them, but I I've heard of them. And I'm like, and their chats are really active. And I'm just a little bit concerned that these people know, like ch- Twitch emojis like off rip, where they can just spam the shit out of it. It's like cold. oh yeah, like fucking yeah. Mark Zuckerberg tapped in, but instead of like. Cool code of like or like algorithms yeah. that are stealing your data. It's like it'll be like a Pepe frog fuck. crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so I'm like fuck. It'd be how like how do you know uh, that so quickly? Exclamation mark. Sad, sad Emmy Rue, and then fucking whatever. It's just the, the Emmy Rue emoji going like, hmm. yeah, that's bro. It's, it's cracked. I'm like, oh my god, bro. If you want to see some of the most disheveled, most decrepit people in chat, look up VTuber chats. Those people. Oh god. Are so thirsty for for these Give models. Me, Ian, would you like to show me some VTuber? Let's go on Twitch oh. right now and see what what okay. VTuber is like. Okay, let's see. I'll I'll share my screen. Bro, that's crazy. I seen a few VTube like diffusion because like uh, Miss Kiff and Emma Rue talked to Miss uh, uh, Iron Mouse. I think is one of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, VTuber. Let's look at VTuber. Let's see. Oh, this girl. Shy Lily. Okay, I follow her on, oh, on Iron TikTok. Mouse is active. That's crazy. Okay, let's see what she's. Hopefully, no see ad. On. Okay, nice. I was told, fuck you. <laughs> right off the bat. Great. Drew. What a great way to start this. Look at all those emojis. Yeah, look at all these. Wow, emojis. I've never said emojis like an old person before. Like I'm that. trying to scroll up. Oh shit, I can't see past. She has an accent. Chussy? What's a chussy? Oh god. Yeah, where, what a, oh, feet, feet, feet. What Cray, the fuck? Craigasm, craygasm, feet, feet. See? I'm telling you. You're so horny. The jig. Oh my god. Bark. Damn, what's happening to me? Bark, bark. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. You know what's funny too? Uh, is this like how, do you remember in Euphoria how Cat like is works as like a dominatrix like online dominatrix yeah. is this what she's yeah. doing right now are we watching a live dominatrix vtuber session ian is this what is that why she's saying she, fuck okay you to so everyone? so this one she's kind of like um she's kind of lo- like not lewd but she's kind of like um sexy sexy yeah like that's her thing she's like kind of thirsty i want to see if i can find her clips um because I, I just want to see like a quick oh quick yeah bit. F- uh, go filter by and do like most popular um filter by oh i can just do clips yeah and then on the okay. left where it says top oh, th- th- seven days, I, th- I think this one time. where does it say that oh yeah do all time let's um, see what the most vi- viewed clip is the hips, those don't, hips lie. don't lie oh no okay look at those hips chat. those hips don't lie <laughs> <laughs> so fuck are we watching uh, uh, busting oh that's not nice what are people saying 
fucking fishy on me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, the physics are insane on these models, man. Dude, do you think she's like a like this is her body, or, and then she's just oh, doing like oh, this stuff, okay. or it's like she's like like touching the buttons whole. on a she has like a controller. No, I think I think it's body cap. Like it, it's it's body cap. At least she's not the whole body, but at least hooked, like her upper. Like she's her hooked upper up on a right. connect and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find a little more thirstier one, like because there's there's some that she puts on Twitch that are like Jesus. Literally. Well, yeah, rap that was god, me. rap god orca. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> Let, let's see. Is she gonna rap? I wanna see. I wanna listen. To rap orca, I'm fucking rap god. Fucking. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god! What did we find? Okay, one, what one rabbit last, hole are we down? <laughs> one last one. This one looks. Oh, that's one. just legs. That was just legs. And we have. Dex. Dex. <laughs> <laughs> not Dex, no. <laughs> And we have Dirks! <laughs> no, not Dirks! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she she knows what she's doing, man. She's knowing what she she what, imagine vaginal a, vaginal malfunction. Imagine this is a man who has a womanly voice. Oh, I think that'd be good for him. Did it, look, look at her go. Is that a queef? I don't know what's happening. But yeah, VTubers oh, are crazy. No, Twitch chat is crazy, Ian. That's or not Twitch the issue. Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twi tw yeah. But yeah, their their Twitch their Twitch chats are so 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 so. It's just a bunch of people who probably don't oh, touch I grass. Well, I mean, it's I don't touch I ass, and I'm not on Twitch chat either. But... I said grass, buddy. <laughs> oh, I thought you said ass. <laughs> I mean, I don't touch grass either. <laughs> well, I do touch grass. I ran outside yesterday. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you forget oh, makes me sad sometimes. I'm like, I think these are how real 12, 13, 17 12 year olds. Are. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> ah, what a what a string of miscommunications. No, was. dude, what? Okay, okay, got me on the. There were one, yeah. Ian. Come on, there was that whole montage of Rue where she was talking to fucking. Yeah, I don't think she was sixteen in those ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was six, she was 16 in one of them, but I don't think she was bro. 16 in all of them. Bro, okay, it's very funny you bring this up. I have another video to share. Okay. Um, more content to react more, to. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me stop my share. I, I need to find the video first. Okay, Guys, so basically, I think I sent it to chat. Um, It's a, if the little kid going to Euphoria and be like, um, what's it like transitioning from Disney to this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. can run it Let's back. Let's just show it. Yeah, I'll just run it back. That shit got me so fucking fun i really wonder which episode if this was the pilot episode that kid is fucked yeah that kid yeah. is gonna be nate jacobs <laughs> okay okay hold on i can i can find it on youtube i looked it up already all right yeah uh, euphoria. so for context actually there's yeah, not explain. really much context uh i guess this is at a euphoria screening and they're doing a q a uh with the cast and there's a particularly interesting audience member who has a very interesting question to ask zendaya Got it. Um, Perfect timing. I found it. Okay. Here we go. This is okay. it. What was it like going from Disney to this? <laughs> Their realization here is that so it's not funny. an adult, but instead like yeah. eleven. No, like, like that sounds like an eight year that sounds like an a eight single year old. digit year old. Like you see you see Barbie Ferrero react first before anyone else. Like what was it? <laughs> I have to say, Cal is pretty dripped in this. What's he wearing? He's got Sakai blazers on. Oh. And like aviators or something. Pretty cool. Please tell me you were not in here for this. I like how she doesn't answer the question. She definitely was watching oh all of that. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She did. Oh, no. Look at Hunter. Hunter Shaver's just like, oh my god. Your parents are responsible. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, any therapy um, that comes out, the big jump is it's, it's because of this. Um, they just can't get over it. Just, Sam Levinson you know, is just I, like, I, I oh my god, that child saw a bunch of dick. That, <laughs> uh, oh my god, if it's a dude, any episode, I can, I can take yeah. the next step. In it's not. Career. There's something traumatic in every episode oh, for yeah. this child. So yeah, it's it's been it's 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 um. Look at them. They're like, oh my god. What can we say? That's not already going to fuck up this child. It's so funny. Okay, so <clears throat> here's my theory, right? Here's my theory, and I hope it's right, because I hope I, I, I hope to God this child didn't watch Euphoria. She just came um, in at the end. 
for this. I, no, <clears throat> I'm hoping like her parents watch it, like their younger parents, and they're like Euphoria, and they're like, oh, you know, it'd be funny if we got our kid to like ask her this question. So they're like, oh, honey, go, go, you got this. I think that'd be funny. I think I hope that's it. Wait, like and she was watching the show too? No, no, no. Like her parents are the one I watch it, and they went to this festival, and that. Oh wait, did they screen it? Yeah, this is a. They, that's why there's a Q and A after screening. That's why I'm saying like, what's the context for this child? What is it before? Was she here for the whole screening? Oh was my it? God. Was You're right. Just, I didn't even book that. Was she just? Oh my God. There for the end bit? Did they just come for the Q and A? There's a lot of questions that we have unanswered. Yeah, there's a lot. Let's read some comments. <laughs> for the sake of my faith in the humanity and modern parenting skills, I'm going to convince myself the kid's parents brought her along to see Zendaya and they haven't actually let their eight-year-old watch Euphoria. Oh, my God. <laughs> she went from, oh, a kid to, oh, a kid. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I've watched a lot of Zendaya interview and I have never heard her voice go this high. <laughs> yeah. Barbie's different faces had me screaming. It's, yeah. What a uh, yeah, that, This clip, Sam Levinson's like, oh, God. What the fuck? Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. I mean, if it's opening night, they probably showed the first episode. And uh, that first episode. Jesus Christ. A yeah, lot that's insane. Of shit in that first episode. Quite traumatic for a child to see all <clears> that <throat> stuff. I was like. Pause. Even as, even a, as a 20, as a 20, year, 20 old. year old person, a 21 year old person, I, I had to stop watching the show for a little bit to, to yeah. kind of recenter myself before I continued on. Dude, um, even Zendaya put out a statement on Twitter saying, like, if you're not ready to watch it for you, don't have to watch it. You know, please like, don't watch it. Don't feel pressured by the world to watch my show, even though it would yeah. be great if you all did because I we get to keep working and stuff. But for the I mean, they got they you, got renewed for three. Yeah, I, I'm I mean. I don't know where this is going to go. Are, are they the same age in season two? Is this a continuation of like. It's one? yeah. It's one? literally like. So after, so they have two special. They have two specials called Rue and Jules. Um, then the show's like directly after that. Okay. So like it's not like a school. It's like not like, a it's, it's not like a time school. skip. They're they still like, in high school. Okay. So it's the same like year. Same, same year. calendar year. Yeah. So I guess from what I heard the second season starts on New Year's. So I guess that's like first semester. Yeah. Second semester. Yeah. So yeah, here uh, I'll I'll share a screen again. But yeah, here's her Twitter statement. I know I said this before, but I do want to re- reiterate everyone that Euphoria is for mature audiences. This season may even more so than the last. It's true. Titty every episode and very very traumatic. This uh yeah, very emotional and due to the subject matter it can be triggering. Yeah. So she signed it Daya Daya. I don't know how she wants it to be pronounced, but yeah. I like your in your Twitter picture. Just my my stupid little face. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have Tim Robinson on yeah. here. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> and with that, that has been Justin Eid Podcast, episode 43. Ian did his own, like, monologue where he's yeah. inside the suit. So I, I haven't seen it. And I will. When we'll you edit it. For the first time. I'll, I'll put I'll, in my I'll reactions send you the as cl- well. I'll send you the clip right now, actually, before I forget. Um. So, yeah, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Ian, close it out. Let them know what, what's up. <laughs> watch, watch our stuff. We appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.